If you're having trouble with exercises like the roll-up, uh, the teaser, the neck pull, um, or even some of the rolling exercises, I have some tips for you. Um, the first tip I want to share is in the pre-Pilates series, in the beginning of, this, of, our, of our beginner series, I showed how to use a towel under your lower back. So if you have a lot of curve in your lower back like I do, um, this is a normal variation of our spines, or even if you don't, this pad can help provide some proprioception um, and it's almost like a little speed bump to help give you something to pull into as you're rolling up. So I'll just repeat how to do that. So when you're lying down, you wanna put, place the pad right where your, the curve of your lower back is above your pelvis so that as you're coming up, you'll feel your low abs pull down into that pad to help you roll up. So that is gonna be a little bit helpful if you find that you get to a point and you're like, oh, my elbow, I have to use my elbows or I really can't go anywhere without using my hands. So if you're getting to that point, the, the pad is something to try. If, uh, if you don't find the pad to be helpful, here's the secret. You're just gonna to wanna to do this exercise from the simple version of going down for longer because this eccentric movement, this rolling down movement is actually deeply strengthening for your lower abdominals. And that's gonna get you to the point where you can start coming up from down below. So if you do come all the way down onto the mat and you're like, oof, I'm stuck, simply turn to the side, bring yourself up and practice the rounding back version and just coming up from there or even pausing at the point where you find you start to get stuck and you really feel it very, very deeply because that's your weak spot. Okay, so that's for the roll up. Later, we're gonna move on and get to the teaser. And for the teaser exercise, I hear from many of you that you either can't keep your legs together, one leg wants to drop, or when you come up, there's just no way to get up because the leg is there and it's hard. So. I'm sorry to say that you're just gonna to need to keep practicing and that's part of it, but a few little tricks might help get you there sooner. You can hook something over your foot like a belt and then just climb up the belt, just like you would climb up your leg. You can also put something under this foot out here to push down on because activating the back of the legs is very helpful. And in fact, in all of these exercises, in the roll up, in the teaser, in uh, later we'll do an exercise called neck pull, you might find that as we start straightening the legs or even when they're bent, when you start to roll up, your feet come off or they, don't, they just don't wanna stay anchored. So I'm gonna share a tip about that as well. So that tip is uh, a little more difficult to manage if you're at home alone, but if you can get a friend or someone, a spouse, anyone, to hold onto the back of your feet and pull, so they're pulling towards them, you're gonna pull against them with your feet. So you're really pulling your heels towards your bottom. And you can even do this yourself, but in the beginning, it's pretty hard to coordinate that pulling your heels towards you as you're rolling. And that action is waking up the back of the legs, which is what's going wrong when our feet are flo floating up off the floor. We're not using the back side of our legs, we're using the front the front of the hip and the front of the legs more than the back. And we just need to balance and coordinate out those groups so that the feet can stay down. So it gets more difficult if you find they're flying off the mat with knees bent. It's gonna be even harder with the legs down because as you start to come up, the same thing will happen. The front of the legs will start to work harder than the back. So you'll actually wanna be pushing down <laughs> with the legs and those exercises too. And that's a lot to figure out. So please stick with it um, if you're having any of those problems and use some of those tips that I suggested. Use a towel on your foot if you're in a teaser and see if that can help you come up. Use your hands, try something under your lower back. Um, make sure if you've advanced to the next version of an exercise like neck pull, here's some common things that go wrong. Like as I start to come up, instead of sequencing the spine evenly, I start to shove my head forward. And that weight of the head is the thing helping me come up in that case instead of the strength of my abdominals and spine. So you wanna keep this nice long C curve as you roll up 
instead of just shoving your head forward to get up or even just your elbows as I a little bit did there. Um, the second thing that you might notice when you really get more advanced in these exercises is that instead of being able to keep your pelvis in its stable position, you'll start to tuck your pelvis in order to get your lower back down to the mat. And then that is what rolls you up. And this is something we don't wanna make a habit because then you'll end up just having to do that every time. And in fact, you're using the muscles down here in a way that we don't really wanna use them in our lives. So if that's happening, think about first trying to press the back of the legs into the mat, keep the pelvis level, and as you come up, get the spine off of the mat. <laughs> this is hard for me today. Before you start to round the pelvis forward, because the pelvis does move once you're up, but it stays, it goes to its flat position, and I should be able to keep my spine off the mat there, and then I lay the spine down. Whew. Okay, that's a lot to explain. So if you have questions about that, please ask them, and I would be happy to do some follow-up notes below. All right, see you on the mat.